Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Priyansh from Team Signos, and in this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to instrument a .NET application with Open Telemetry. In order to do that, we will use a sample .NET application and instrument the sample app with Open Telemetry libraries. Open Telemetry enables you to generate telemetry data like logs, metrics, and traces from your application. You the user then need a backend to send the collected telemetry data. In this tutorial, we will use Signos, an open source APM application performance monitoring tool built to support open telemetry natively. So uh, let's get started. For the purpose of this video, we will be following uh, this blog, monitor a .NET application with open telemetry. Links will be in the description below. So before we move forward, there are basically four things that we need to uh, understand the first thing we'll do is install signos second we'll clone the sample dotnet application and then uh, we'll th thirdly we'll uh, instrument the app with open telemetry and then set the open telemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where signos is installed and then finally we will use signos dashboards amazing dashboards to kind of analyze metrics and traces so let's get started. So let's install Signos so that Open Telemetry can send data to it. And for the purpose of this video, we will uh, install Signos locally on this machine. And by the way, I'm using uh, M1 MacBook Air. Signos can be installed on uh, Mac OS and Linux computers in just three easy steps. So you can read about Signos and, and Open Telemetry, a bit about Open Telemetry, traces, metrics, logs. And yeah, these are the four steps which I just mentioned and let's install Signos. So what you need to do is just copy this three commands and I already have did that for you. Cloned it, cd into Signos deploy and install and run the install script. So what it will do is it will clone Signos and then um, pull this uh, container images then we'll make these containers and then your installation will be pretty much complete. If you run into errors, reach out to us on our slack channel and yeah don't forget to provide your email in here when prompted to and that's all signos is installed and this is how the welcome yeah you'll be taken to this login page if you hit localhost 3301 slash login and signos provides role-based access control features uh, you can create an account with admin access and then invite your team members to collaborate account so I do have my credentials and I'll log into it. So just after login, you will see these four services listed over here. This is the Signos dashboard. These are the, these services uh, comes with Signos. You can also install Signos without these services. So let's get back to the blog post and uh, yeah. So now let's move on to instrumenting the .NET application finally. So for that, you need to create a new uh, .NET MVC project if you would like to um, implement open telemetry in your own app follow these steps like create a new uh, mvc project then install open telemetry packages to it and then configure your app with open telemetry and uh, yeah one thing to notice is this is signos endpoint um, 4317 so we are just kind of setting the endpoint of signos in this code snippet and then finally run your dot end application but we have already provided a sample app link will be in the description and this is the repository. So basically in this video, we'll, uh, this app will have uh, three parts, tracing example, metrics example, and logs example. And uh, my web app, I think it's visible. Yeah, my web app will be for tracing example or dot worker will be for metrics and uh, web API will be for logs. So let me just copy, clone this repository and on Signals demo, let me just clone it. And yeah, we are done cloning it and let me CD into it. And then open it in VS Code. So we will be working with my web app for now. And Let's go back to the blog and run the .NET application. So let me do that real quick. .NET run. It's currently building. Uh, these steps 
the one to three steps are already done in the sample repository. So yeah, the Cygnus endpoint that the, the code block, the code snippet uh, is present in uh, my uh, org.myWebApp and program.cs, the space of code. So let's see what's the progress. And I think it's, yeah, it's listening to port 5057. Let me open up the app. So the app is open. Let me flick some URLs to create some dummy data as mentioned over here. Like please ensure that you have generated some dummy data by calling your applications endpoint multiple times in order to see the application on Cygnos. So, yeah. yeah. Let's hit it, home privacy, home privacy, bye bye. So I think we hit it enough times. Let me refresh and yeah, we get the web app over here. And as you can see, there's not much data to make sense of, but still enough data. So let's click on view traces and let me hit the operation slash. These, these are, we are on the traces step right now. Click on it and this provides a kind of the gain charts, a detailed gain charts and uh, flame graph view. You do not see much going on over here because this is just a dummy app. And these are the tags associated with it. You can see the status code is 200, uh, the user agent, the service name and the method, the slash endpoint method. So to make a better sense of what's going on, let me click on this front end app, click on any of the traces and click on any of the, yeah. This is the actual Stignos dashboard that will look like with your real uh, application running and not any dummy application. These red, these are uh, 51 spans over here. The red ones are the error spans. So let me click on one and go to events. So the error is due to reduce timeout and uh, click on one of the 15. So there are 51, 51 spans. And if you want to just focus on these 15 spans, you can click on it and go to focus on selected spans. And then just those 15 spans will be over here. 